Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to discuss the load and resistance factor design method of designing a reinforced concrete beam based on a structural design Zen found on the App Store. Get the design factored load of beam from uniform load and concentrated load. Uniform loads consist of beam self-weight and load from floor slabs, while concentrated loads can be evaluated through beam analysis. Check beam depth for deflection control per ACI code. Enumerate input parameters required. Name of beam like B1, G1, CB1. Type of support, width of beam, depth of beam, length of beam, main bars with size and grade, stirrup bars with size and grade, strength of concrete, and design loads. Choose moment formula based on support type. Solve maximum moment from concentrated loads, if any, and get the total maximum moment from uniform load and concentrated load. Check the reinforcement type of beam, whether singly or doubly reinforced, by first getting the maximum reinforcement ratio raw max, then the maximum concrete beam design ratio Rn max, and finally, the maximum moment from given section MU max. For singly reinforced beam, get the concrete beam design ratio Rn, then the reinforcement ratio raw, and check minimum required raw from ACI code. After solving for raw, get the area of steel and its equivalent number of bars for tension bars and compression bars. For doubly reinforced beam, first get the nominal moment of MU max, then subtract it to the nominal design moment to get the additional required moment. Then solve the maximum height of neutral axis C max and stretch block A max. To solve for tension bars, first get the area of steel from the stress block AS1, then the area of steel from the additional moment AS2, sum them up to get the design area of steel AS, and solve the number of bars. For compression bars, solve the stress in compression steel reinforcement and choose the smaller stress between the specified yield strength of steel FY. Then get the area of compression steel and its equivalent number of bars. Solve the factored shear force from dead load and live load shear force. Test for shear strength by comparing the nominal shear force to the strength capacity of concrete. If Vn greater than Vc, additional shear capacity from stirrup Vs is required and should be less than the maximum capacity Vs max. For evaluation of stirrup design, case 1 is where shear from nominal load is less than shear from concrete capacity. Follow the given spacing for stirrups. Use case 2 when shear from nominal load is greater than shear capacity of concrete and the initial spacing from web strength is greater than maximum spacing of stirrup. Follow the given spacing for stirrups. Use case 3 when shear from nominal load is greater than shear capacity of concrete and the initial spacing from web strength is less than maximum spacing of stirrup. For group 1, use single 50mm as initial spacing away from face of support. For group 2, iterate the web strength procedure until the spacing of stirrup is greater than or equal to 150mm. Use the number of iteration for 100mm spacing. For group 3, Continue iterating the web strength procedures until the spacing of stirrups is greater than or equal to maximum stirrup spacing. Use the number of iteration for 150mm spacing. For group 4, as a final check of web strength, be sure that the spacing of stirrups is greater than maximum stirrup spacing and use rest at maximum spacing. Stiffener bar guide for different sizes of main bars used for design. Design recommendation format as follows. Simple beam, design criteria, beam size, main bars includes support and center section, stirrups, cantilever beam, same as simple beam 
but without the center section. Thank you for watching. If you learned something from this video, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel.